hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is kitech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to um you know um let customers very um send a verification code to customers email address before they can be able to uh, register on your what on your website now most of the times you want to reduce spam on your website so a lot of people don't um you know uh, want to use their real um, email address or they use fake email address to register on your website and then a lot of spammy um, you know accounts are created on your website now you want to limit all those things okay so um for um you know if you have let's say a store or um, a food ordering website like this one then um it is good for you to uh, to be able to have this verification you know set up so that um people um you know customers will have to uh, verify their account from their what their email before they can be able to uh, before they can be able to uh, um you know enter or um create account on your what on your website okay so if they cannot verify then they are stuck they can't do anything so if you click outside you still cannot what you still cannot go so as you can see they can see the account over here but because they haven't verified it they can't do anything on it okay and that is it now I'm going to show you how you can be able to create this one by just using a simple plugin to be able to achieve this. Okay. Now it's very simple and very easy to do that. And it's not um, that difficult. It is just, um, you know, installing that plugin and that is all. Everything is what done for you. Okay. So that is all what we are, what we are going to do today. Now, if you are new over here, um, I would like you to, you know, like this channel, subscribe to the channel and then join us so that we learn together and grow together okay thank you for watching once again and let's jump into the what into the video so guys we are going to go to um you know our um back end i'm going to use this particular what particular website over here okay so um first of all we're going to install what we're going to install a plugin so let's go to plugins over here and then make sure that you what you click on what add new okay so we're going to install a plugin and then we use that plug so guys um we're going to search for a plugin okay and the plugin that we're going to search for um just type in customer verification just type in customer verification over here and then you're going to see um this particular plugin over here so this is what we're going to use okay forget about this one over here this is what we are going to use okay as you can see over here, there is a blue tick over here okay that is what we're going to what we're going to use so click on what um install now to install and then click on activate to uh, to activate okay so now that we have what installed and activated um the plugin now what do we do okay so it's very simple what we're going to do is um first of all let's go to woocommerce over here and then go to settings of the what of the woocommerce okay so we're going to go to the settings of the woocommerce and then um, we put some things straight away through the accounts and privacy over here okay so we're going to go to the on the accounts and privacy tab click on it okay because we want to what um take and untake some certain things over here so now as you can see we don't want people to place what other um without an account okay so we want we want to take this one and allow customers to log in into what into an existing account during checkout okay and then also account creation allow customers to create account during checkout yes you want to allow customers to create account during checkout allow customers to create an account on my account page yes we want to allow customers to create an account on my account page and then also when creating an account automatically generate an account username for the customer based on their name um, you know username or email no we don't want that we want them to create their own what thing okay and then also um you know when creating an account send the new user a link to set up their password no we want them to set up their own what password okay so what we're going to do is um after you know checking out these things we're going to click on what save changes over here so now that we are done with the woocommerce settings now what we have to do is what go and under woocommerce over here scroll down to email verification okay so you can see it over here email verification now with the email verification you can check out the settings over there it's it has already been what enabled so enable verification email verification for new customers okay 
so all new customers will have to what, verify their what their account allow first login after registration without email verification no we don't want to allow it and then also um verification code in new account email no we don't want to do that so just this one okay so um we want to what you, you can set up verification code in new um, account email you can you know take this one okay but what i'm going to do is i'm just um going to what you know just leave it like that or maybe let me just take it and see what happens and then you know page redirect now after um the person has verified the account where are they going to be redirected to the account page any page that you want them to redirect to you can um, you know let them redirect to that page and then also um skip email verification for um you know selected users so um if you want to you know skip email verification for some selected what users you can decide to maybe they add me okay um of the what of the website so maybe the administrator where is oh, okay so administrator has already been skipped okay so maybe maybe the um the shop or the shop manager over here can also be what be exempted okay so uh, the editor or somebody can also be exempted so after that um i think everything is good now we can what click on what save changes okay now you can also go to customize to what to customize it okay or you can go pro so the customization will take you to what the, um, the customization section of the website and then you see how the whole thing um, works about now let's take a look at how everything you know work so let's say imagine um, we are opening the website in a new incognito okay so i'm going to open a, the website in a new incognito website um, um window and then i'll just open it this way so this is what um you know um a fresh user you know oh i've seen this website this website is very nice oh okay so nice oh wow very nice now maybe the user want to what um you know um register account over there so the user click on my account okay wants to what wants to register now check out what happens now um you can what set up your username over here so let's say the user is what um let's call the user let me just close this one let's call the user maybe tech up okay tech up and then um the user's email address okay so let's say tech up hosting at gmail.com okay so um you know the user set up what it's what password okay so i'm going to use this one as what as the password okay and then the user what click on register now check out what happens when the user click on register at the moment the user click on register it's going to tell the user to what, to verify his or her account okay so it says what we've sent verification code okay let me close this one we send verification code to take up hosting at gmail.com to verify your email address please check your inbox and enter the code now let me go over there and see if um i'm going to see what an email over there so guys as you can see over here this is the verification code given to us so you can enter the verification code in over here to verify your what your account now thank you for watching this video i hope this video will help you to be able to um, you know prevent spam and you know spammy registration on your website please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't if you have also please continue supporting the channel um, a like will do a uh, go a long way to what uh, to help this channel what uh, grow thank you very much and see you in the next video bye bye